Welcome to this Lindy AI tutorial. In a minute, I'll show you how to set up powerful AI agents that can do work for you. I'll start with an easy one and move over to harder automations that are way more valuable than you might think. I'll give my thoughts on Lindy versus Make and A&N Zapier. Since I'm partnering with Lindy to make this video, I can go through step-by-step step everything you need to know about Lindy. So by the end of this video, you'll know uniquely what's good about Lindy so you can start building AI agents. So let's go into step number one, get access. So right now I'm on the homepage of Lindy. And if you're a true beginner, what Lindy does is automate tasks for you across tools like Gmail, Google Calendar, Slack, Notion, and more. But they also have AI agents that I have found to be a little bit simpler than for example, the agents in make.com and the agent in N8N. So if you've seen any AI agents in there, but you felt like it was a little bit too complicated and you didn't want to overstep that technical boundary, well, Lindy is going to be a perfect place for you because it's very simple to set up these automations and especially the agents that I'll get into in a minute. But all you need to do to get access is to click on try for free. I'll show you a little pricing at the end and now we're on the inside. So let's go to step number two, selecting your template. So if you wanna set up some very powerful automations and agents right away, I highly recommend checking out the meeting note taker and the meeting scheduler. Let's look at the templates together. So they have many templates in sales, for example, you can take a look at them here. They have a lot of template as well in the support area. This is one of the best things that agents can do. They can even call on your behalf. We have meeting automations and agents as well that I'll show you how to set up in a minute, as well as some email automations. So hopefully you can find a use case that you want to do with this. I think the reason that you're on this video right now is maybe you have an idea that you want to do, but you don't know how to do it. So let's go to step number three, setting up an automation. So let's go and click on new Lindy. Here we can start from various things like the templates, but we're gonna start from scratch. What we're going to set up today is a Lindy bot on Telegram that you can basically ask anything and it can start taking actions on your behalf. You might have seen this in N8N, but the technical hurdles there were way too advanced and complicated. Well, you can actually build that right here in Lindy without any of the tech hurdles, in my opinion as well. It's the simplest way I found to set it up. Now, if you want to select a trigger, we're gonna select a Telegram trigger. However, this could be chat with this Lindy, which I'll show you in another example. It could be a Slack message. It could be any type of Gmail trigger, even activate it in Notion. But I found that a lot of people want to have a chat bot, basically Jarvis from Iron Man, that can do anything for them. So I'm gonna search for Telegram. I'm then going to select the new messages updates. And that's the first module set up. You can see here that we have Telegram account connected. And if you haven't set it up before, it's as easy as one, two, three. Now, what are we gonna get it to do? Well, we're gonna set up two conditions. The first one is going to be go down this path if user is asking to draft an email. So that's the first condition that we're gonna do. The second condition, and I'll just click on the condition again, add condition is go down this path if user is asking about creating a calendar event. Very basic stuff so far, we'll get more advanced in a minute. So now we need to set up the conditions. So when the user is asking about drafting an email, we're going to add a new step and that is going to be to enter an AI agent. And if you don't know what the agent is, it's basically a thinking model that can extrapolate text and start doing things for you in natural language. Whereas many automations are truly conditional, like step one, two, three, four, five, all the way to the end, agents can think a little bit more 
and then do the action, which is a huge game changer. And Lindy AI's agent is really simple and it works really well. The prompt that we're gonna use, you're a helpful email agent. Your task is to write a draft email based on the user's request. Just like that, we set up our first AI agent. However, we need to add some skills. And this is exactly what I was talking about. You can allow the AI agent to take actions on all these platforms. So we're gonna select Gmail, then we're going to click on create draft and Pretty much that's the first agent set up. Awesome stuff, right? Now we're going to create a calendar AI agent. So let's enter in other AI agent and prompt it. You are a calendar agent. Your task is to create new calendar events. Really simple prompting. And that's what I love about Lindy. You don't have to do any fancy prompts. It all works seamlessly. Calendar is the skill that we're going to add to it. And we're going to add create event. However, there are so many things that you can do here, like finding available times, finding the meetings that you have already. I'll show you one of the most powerful automations you can run in the next example. But for this, we're only going to use a create event skill. And just like that, we have two agents set up. One of them can send an email and another can create a calendar event. But how does it work? Let's try to turn it on and test it. So I'll just drag the Telegram bot over here and you could obviously do this on your phone, but we're gonna test the draft email. Can you draft an email for me to say that I'm cool with going to the Bangkok Arts and Culture Museum at Thursday, May 1st at 5 p.m.? Let's send that and you'll see that the Telegram message is received. We can select that. I have it in the test case right now. So now we went to the condition. It went down to the agent you'll see it working on the right side here as well. Seeing what is going on, I'll help you draft an email about the museum meetup. Let me draft an email for you. This is where the magic happens. You can just sit back and relax while it's doing the work for you. As you can see to the email address, the subject, the message here as well. And the crazy part is that it's in my email right now. If I click on my drafts, just like that, it's in the top looking great and I can just send it. You can do this without doing the draft as well, but I do recommend that you don't blindly just trust AI. I like for it to draft it first and then I select it manually and send it out. So that's pretty cool, but pretty basic so far. Let's check out the other basic agent, which is a calendar agent. So once again, since we have set it up, I can just go to the Lindy bot and say, can you create me a calendar event at May 1st at 5 p.m. called Bangkok Arts and Culture Museum? Boom, just like that, we are triggering the agent again. You'll see a trigger on the side here as well. You don't have to click on select, I'm just in the test area here to show you a little bit more what's going on. You can also check this in tasks. So here we have the entire email task that we just did, but uh, now we're going through the calendar. So it's creating an event, as you can see, event created successfully. It's saying exactly what it did. I can click on this. And as you can see, it was able to put me at 5 p.m. on Thursday with everything that I need to know right here. Pretty cool, right? But this is only the tip of the iceberg I have so much cool stuff to show you. And hey, by the way, we're trying to get to 200,000 subscribers on this YouTube channel. So if you would drop a subscribe on this video, it would help me a lot. Thank you so much. Let's get back to it. So let's set up the second automation. One of the ones that I think is the most powerful, especially if you have a sales or customer support or you do a lot of meetings, and that is the meeting prep alert. So you can start off with that and then you can check out this customized AI automation. What this does is that you can trigger it on every morning, then it's going to check the meetings for the day. 
it's going to find a drive file that it's around that name. So maybe you have more information in that drive file that's right here. Then it's gonna search the email of that person. It's gonna find their LinkedIn and then it's going to send a message back to you called a daily digest. Just imagine not having to search for information before the meeting, you literally got it right here in an email or message every single morning, just like this, for example. Here is only one event. You see all the information here is perfectly given to me in the chat, as well as in my email with the meeting doc, the person on LinkedIn. So the prep before the call just takes minutes instead of you know, 20 minutes sometimes. So if you do a lot of meetings, you do some sales or you have to convert people, this is a must have automation. Now I'll show you how I customized it. It's really simple to set up, even though it looks a little bit more complicated, it's so easy to do. So I recommend starting from a template once again, and the trigger that I have selected was message received. Now this is a Lindy chat bot. And you can see it here if you click on tasks. It's one of those things where you don't have to connect to Slack or to your email or WhatsApp or Telegram. You can literally chat with it right here and then have all these conditions going on, which is super cool. So I wanted to show you that as well, but you can obviously start it on any trigger. Then we set a task title. I've set it to be today's day. Then we check the meetings for today. Just connect your calendar and it's going to be able to see everything. Then we have a flow control that goes through for every meeting and then it goes through for every attendee. So if you have multiple attendees coming to the meeting, you get all the information so you can kind of read their brain and impress them a lot in the first five minutes. That shows that you're sharp as attack and you're almost reading their mind. We go through searching for the drive files. So say you have a document like this, for example, that is from this client in particular, and say you've been working with them for a while, you can have the huge document going back and forth about what you've been doing in the past, even your previous meeting reports. It's going to take that document, it's going to search for the email, it's gonna find their LinkedIn, and then it's gonna exit the loop and do it again for every single meeting that you have that day. <laughs> Isn't that crazy? Lastly, I set it to send me a message. Again, this could be a daily digest email. It could be your telegram message daily, whatever you want to happen, but I get it back here, sending a message to my email, as well as getting it back in the chat. You can find under tasks here. And this is how it looks like when it runs. You just start by saying meeting prep, which was the trigger condition that I had. Then it starts setting the title, checking the meetings, going through the cycles, and then sending the email at the end, which is a game changer for any business that does meetings or calls. Now there's one more thing that I want to talk to you about, and that is calling inside Lindy. This is an outbound phone call agent. Not only will it call on your behalf, but it will talk in natural language and continue through the conversation all the way till it gets it uh, end condition. I'm not gonna show you how to set it up right now, but I wanna show you that it's included, which is a big difference from many other automation platforms that makes this a little bit more seamless. So say you want to use an AI agent to call your leads and get an appointment with a real person, or let's say that you wanna book a restaurant, you can do that with Lindy in the phone call agent. This is an area that I think is going to be huge in the future and the people using AI agents for calling and the people that don't have a huge gap and it's spreading. Just imagine how many more customers that you could close and how much of a LTV you can get if you have reliable phone agents that are, that are customer centric, ready to do work for you without sleeping, without eating and never complaining. The future is here. But one thing that you might be wondering about is what's the price? As you can see, Lindy has a free pricing pan for 400 credits per month up to 400 tasks, one million character knowledge base. It is one week long, so you can test it as much as you want. 
However, there are some pro features that you might not have access to, but creating basics, you can definitely do it uh, in the free plan. For the pro plan, you have to pay $49 per month. This gives you 5,000 credits, which is 5,000 tasks per month, knowledge base up to 20 million characters. And this is something we didn't talk about that much, but you can have a knowledge base where you have all your FAQ, your policies, maybe your shipping, internal documents that you want to have in the knowledge base so it gets smarter, you can have that in here. You also get premium actions. I've shown you a couple of them and you get the phone call basic features. Now, when we step up to the business, that's $300 per month, you get 30,000 credits, tasks up to 30,000 per month, knowledge base up to 20 million characters, premium actions, phone call premium features, and priority support. And if you scale beyond this, you can go to the custom pricing. That gives you access to an AI implementation engineer who will work with you to understand your use cases and actually build the Lindy's for you. But seeing that the pro plan is around $49 per month and you get these credits, you can increase the credits by sliding this over here as well. But uh, 5,000 credits is actually quite a lot. I don't think that most people will be able to use 5,000 credits within one month. Also, if we compare the pricing with uh, Make.com, N8N, and Zapier, you can see that it's a little bit more expensive than Make.com and N8N. However, it is a lot cheaper than Zapier. So if you're considering building AI agents, Lindy is a perfect place to do it. The agents are really simple to do. The phone callers are included in the plan and easy to set up. So if you don't want any technical hurdles and just want to get right down to business, I highly recommend Lindy. So go check it out in the description down below and tell me which AI agents are you going to build with this down in the comments. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.